Ryan. Welcome everyone, this is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Let's take a look at what we have going on today. Uh, we are slightly down a little bit right now in the ES Mini, trading down 0.76%. Around 5,255. The Russell off about 2% at 2,077 80 cents. The NQs, $18,303.50. Again, down slightly. You know, we're just down slightly today a little bit. Um, we have some things that might be dragging into that. Obviously, Tesla uh, did not do so well. We can see they're down about 5.3% today. Uh, the Dow futures off about one percentage. The gold contract trading up right now, still at 1.64. And really, the winner of the day here in the metals is uh, silver. Uh, doing quite well. That also pours into, of course, mag silver. Take a look at that will be uh, one that we cover in the gold report or Tom O'Brien covers. And we have a 22 year anniversary special deal. We save about 4165 a month. And that's for the uh, duration of your subscription. So however, however long you subscribe to it. Regardless, mag is about 4.5% today. Leaf Report MacMoran is doing all right as well, about 2.48% currently. So these miners are coming up. Uh, the base metals themselves, the contracts, are doing quite well. Uh, copper still at 407, uh, but still a positive move. Of course, it'd be interesting to see if we can test the high reserve of about 416. Crude, what is there to say? We are up now. Um, 85 last time this was happening was about October. And of course, we enjoyed some pretty low uh, energy prices since then. Uh, Saudi Arabia, in particular, OPEC as a whole, uh, cutting production. Um, and, you know, that will affect us at the pump. Of course, we're going to start drilling the Permian Basin. We've spoken about that a little bit on the show. Uh, but to when that's going to really show, I'm not sure. Uh, however, I think going forward, you know, again, I talk about the CPI and the energy with CPI. Uh, of course, higher oil prices are going to lead to a higher CPI. Uh, that's not going to be the core, uh, of course. But I think this will still, uh, excuse me, affect it some ways. And so we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. Uh, let's take a look at Tesla. Okay. We're down 5.34% today. We have a lot to talk about with it, you know, especially, you know, looking at Xiaomi. Okay. And that's one of their major uh, competitors in China. So let's take a look. Tesla shares sink after sales fall more than expected in first quarter. Group manages to reclaim crown as the world's largest seller of battery electric cars after a big drop in shipments from BYD. Still, this is kind of a commentary on the entire EV market. Uh, Tesla reported a bigger than expected drop in its quarterly deliveries in the first three months of the year, setting its shares down more than 5%. The company posted sales of 386,000, uh, you know, roughly 800 cars. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that is down from 484,050 sold in the fourth quarter of last year and lower than 422,875. Still, you know, decent numbers. Uh, it is uh, expected to sell about 450,000 vehicles in the most recent quarter. Of course, they were pretty shy of that. Uh, the, later, the latest delivery numbers still allow Tesla to reclaim the crown, as this article is saying, from BYD. BYD, okay, still doing pretty well, but if we can pull this up here, where's my mouse? There we go. No, that gives us Boyd. I don't know what I would look up on here for that. Anyways, uh, they, they fell, <laughs> their shipments fell about 42%, uh, which is pretty nuts. Um, we can talk a little bit more in this realm. We can look at Rivian. Let's take a look today. So down equally, again, this, uh, this whole EV market, uh, I think, is in some trouble with it. Uh, however, the deliveries have increased about 70%. Uh, the vehicle deliveries in Q1 totaled 13,588, while it produced 13,980. Uh, it also reaffirmed the previous guidance of producing 57,000 vehicles. And these are slick-looking vehicles. Uh, I've seen a few of them on the roads here in St. Pete. They're very nice. Ahead of Tuesday's release, analysts expect Riven to deliver 13,000 units on Q1. Uh, so they, they beat that. Uh, again, I think the major issue is just going to be a decrease in demand uh, for electric vehicles going forward. Uh, it's, it's weird, though, because you're, you're also seeing, I would say, some commentary, too, uh, from what analysts are calling the middle class. 
and they're having a lot of confidence, right? Assuming inflation is going down, uh, saying that they're on the right track financially. And so it remains to be seen, you know, kind of how electric vehicles are going to fit in, I, I would suppose, to the economy, right? Uh, I think a lot of sales had to do with tax credits that people were getting. Uh, of course, you get kind of the cool factor of it. But I, I think it remains to be seen, you know, especially if we have higher interest rates for longer, right? Of course, the Fed will come down, you know, definitely not until June. I think one of the Fed chairs uh, just said that it's certainly not happening in May. I don't think anyone anticipated that. I think June's what we're looking at. But even so, you know, I, I don't, we're certainly not going to go back down to like quantitative easing levels of interest rates, of like, you know, near 0% and everything. Uh, it, it'll just remain to be seen. Of course, we have a lot of investment going in to create more charging stations. Uh, okay, there it's back. And uh, that will kind of ease people into buying them. I, I, I still think it'll be a little bit of time with that. All right. We take a look at Humana. Okay, and a lot of these healthcare stocks are getting hit. Uh, and that's because Medicare Advantage is getting hit. Biden said they're not increasing uh, the amount spent on that. And all right, let's talk a little bit about that. This is the article. It says Medicare Advantage is overbilling Medicare by 22%. The body in question is called the Medicare Payment Advisory Commission, or MedPAC. Uh, it is an independent authoritative body that advises Congress on Medicare. It was set up by the Balanced Budget Act 1997, back when people in Washington were actually, okay, whatever. That's political speech. <laughs> it just, just published its latest report to Congress entitled the Medicare Payment Policy. And the key thing everyone needs to read, uh, guess what, page 25, which is how, okay, yeah. <laughs> what is up with the articles like this, right? Long story short, they're kind of overcharging on a lot of things. Biden is bringing that down. So you're getting a massive hit and things like Humana who are now going to have to pay a little bit more on that, especially at a time where inflation is kind of hitting medical costs. Okay, so we have Humana down about 12.65% today, which uh, is you know, pretty intense. Uh, United Healthcare has also slid CVS. Let's take a look at CVS right now. Just waiting for this to load. It's fine. Let's keep looking at Humana while I read this a little bit. Uh, Humana shares while we have the break. We'll talk a little bit more about this just briefly when we come back. We also have Basil on today and then Tim Ord uh, on later. So stay tuned for that, folks. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned.